Hey everyone, and welcome to today's video. In this tutorial, I will show you step by step how to transfer from MetaMask to Coinbase. I noticed that there wasn't really a video out there explaining how to do this clearly, so if you appreciate me making this video, please let me know by leaving a like. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. The first thing you need to do is to go over to Coinbase and log in. Once you're logged in, you need to go over to your MetaMask. If you're using Google, you can go over to the extension page and click on MetaMask. You'll then have to fill in your password. And once you've done that, I recommend you press on those three buttons right here and click on expand view. Now, because I've already done so, for me it doesn't appear right here, but it will be right here. So just click on expand view and you'll then get MetaMask in full screen. And the next thing you need to do is to go over to this icon right here and select the mainnet, network or chain you would like to withdraw from. Now in this case, I'll go ahead and select the Ethereum mainnet, because for this example, we will be transferring Ethereum. So once you're in the right mainnet or wallet, you need to go over to send. You then have to copy and paste your address in. So to find your address, you need to go over to Coinbase and then go over to the send slash receive button in the top right. You'll then need to click on receive. And once you've done that, you'll see this screen. And right here, you need to go over to asset and select the asset you would like to transfer or deposit. In this case, that's going to be Ethereum. And you'll then need to go ahead and copy your address right here. And you can copy your address by clicking on this icon. And once you've copied your address, you need to go over to MetaMask and paste in your address. You'll then see this menu. And right now you need to fill in the amount of Ethereum you would like to transfer. Once you've done that, you will also have to fill in the gas price and the gas limit. Because the gas price and gas limit are more complicated topics, I'd recommend you just leave them at their default settings. However, if you would like to change them, However, I will try and explain this in simple terms. The higher the gas price and gas limit are, the faster your order will come through, because the gas price and the gas limit is the amount you are willing to pay in fees. And if you don't really care about your order to come through fast, you could also lower the gas price and gas limit, and in doing so, you'll have to pay less in fees. However, you will have to wait longer on your order to come through. Once you have selected the asset, the amount, the gas price and the gas limit, you can then go ahead and click on next. You'll then see a screen looking similar to this one, where you will see the estimated gas fee and the total, so the amount you're transferring plus the gas fee. And please be aware that the fee you'll have to pay is not included into the total amount, so you'll have to leave a little bit of Ethereum or BNB or whatever the cryptocurrency is you would like to pay your fees in, in your wallet before being able to transfer. Now the last and final thing you need to do is to click on confirm. If you've still got any questions left, please let me know in the description Please let me know in the comments down below so I can help you out. If you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies.